I've never done cocaine before, but I don't wake up every single morning going, Oh, I'm on no cocaine, and I've been on no cocaine for 18 years and 60 days. Today has now been 18 years and 61 days. I hope I don't mess up my street today. No, of course not. I don't even think about it. I don't even worry about it. It's just not in my life. I'm not on no cocaine. And this comes down to your lifestyle. My name is Wada and I help other young men like me take back control of their lives. So your identity and your lifestyle are very, very important aspects of your life. And they can't just be easily changed despite what some people say. Some people throw out the helpful, little helpful advice saying that, oh, just say that you're this and then you'll start acting more like it. It doesn't really work like that. You can't just say that you identify as an athlete, so therefore I am an athlete. If you've never done a single run in your life, just because you say I identify as an athlete doesn't mean you should expect that you're going to suddenly start doing athletic things. That's not how it works. You can't just gaslight yourself into believing that you're an entrepreneur if you are not, and you've never done anything to do with entrepreneurship. And the same goes for the other way around. If you've ran a marathon, you've put in the time and effort and the training, then it's not difficult to say that you're a runner. If you're someone who's built a business from the ground up and it's successful, then it's not hard to say that you're an entrepreneur. If you're someone who's put in the hours and effort to gain the YouTube channel that has more than 4,000 subscribers and is monetized, then it's not hard to say that I'm a YouTuber. I can identify as a YouTuber. That is my lifestyle. And then you have people who identify as cats and dogs. Yeah, furries. Bunch of weird fucks. Honestly, they're a special breed of stupidity. They can just go fuck themselves. Identity and lifestyle are determined by your actions. So if you change your actions, you can change your identity and lifestyle. But that kind of makes sense. It's not the other way around. But that does make sense. If your actions are, I smoke every single day, your actions can say that, yeah, I'm a smoker. If you smoke every day, yeah, you can say that you're a smoker. So I want you to ask yourself, I want you to be completely honest, because it's just you and me here. I mean, you're not, I'm not even gonna see your answer. It's, you're probably by yourself. So be completely honest, no one's gonna see. Why do you do what you do? For me, that was gaming on Destiny. And I used to game on there a lot, like a lot. And for me, it was for that social connection, that sense of progress. Genuinely ask yourself, why do I do what I do? And keep asking yourself why, like the annoying kid. Why do you go on porn and beat your me? Uh, because I'm horny? Why? Because I'm horny? Why? Because I'm lonely and bored and had nothing else to do? This is actually the deep-rooted reason for most people. Honestly, how many times have you actually gone on porn because you're horny? Compared to the amount of times you've done it because you're home alone, it's late in the evening, you've done nothing all day, and you're bored. You may think that you know why you do the bad habit. Nuh-uh. You gotta search deeper. It's a deep-rooted reason. Oh, I game because I enjoy the game. I gamed because I enjoy and wanted that social connection. And this is why you have those moments where you try and stop the bad habit, but after a few days, you snap back to it. And that is because you aren't satisfying the need that the bad habit satisfies. For me, gaming on Destiny it was for that social connection. So if I tried to stop playing and stop gaming, but then I didn't fulfill that social connection anywhere else, I would snap back to it because it was my only way to satisfy that need. I mean, if you put it into example, oh, I want to stop going on porn and jacking off because I'm lonely. Okay, all right, chop off your penis and we'll get rid of all the porn in the world. Cool, great, I'm still lonely. You haven't actually solved anything, nothing's changed except the fact that now you don't have a dick. This is why there is that saying, you cannot kill a bad habit, you can only replace it. 
If there is only one thing that you take from this video, I want it to be this. Ask yourself genuinely, why do I do what I do? And what's the healthier alternative? I'm not on no fat the same way I'm not on no cocaine. They just aren't in my life. I don't think about them. That's not my lifestyle or my identity. And that is the point that sh we should all strive for. Where no fab is just a part of our lifestyle. We don't, even, we don't even think about it. And we don't count down the days. Because that's weird. Hopefully this has helped you out. Stay consistent and do the best you can. Love you bro. Mwah.